uncompromised and unapologetic call that we count every single vote. And we count every vote. You're gonna, the impression being left is that we're not counting every vote and that somebody is trying to make sure that we don't count every vote. Here's more Gillum. This was in Fort Lauderdale. This was last night. The new Mount Olive Baptist Church during an event called Count Every Vote. A vote event at a church. Count Every Vote of Faith response to the Florida recount. Even if it takes you into the middle of next week, you better count every vote. We are not going to be ignored. We're going to make sure that every single vote is counted in this process. Y'all, I may not be greeting you tonight as the governor of the state of Florida, but I'm the mayor of Tallahassee, and more than that, I'm an American and a Floridian, and I demand that every vote be counted in this process. See, or not, he is fighting like hell. Rick Scott is a, he's not a one-man band out there, but man, this guy is, is, is putting up a battle like, we don't see Republicans outside of President Trump put up. He was on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace. Question, you're accusing Bill Nelson of trying to commit fraud? His lawyer said that a non-citizen should vote. That's one. Number two, he's gone to trial and said that fraudulent ballots should be counted. Ballots have already been thrown out because they were not done properly. He said those should be counted. And you think that is the senator himself is committing fraud? Well, it's his team. What is it? Well, of course, if it's his team, the senator himself, what does that matter? If it's the senator himself committing fraud, of course he is if he doesn't order his people to stand. Here's the story on that. Nelson both fought, and the way this is written is screwy. I just want to warn you, I'm going to have to translate this for you because there's a bunch of double negatives in here designed to confuse the average reader. Fought, it's a great thing to fight non-citizens vote from being excluded. Holy, you mean we're excluding votes? No way, Mabel, not in Florida, not in America. We're not going to exclude any votes. No wonder the Democrats this. Translate it for you. They're doing, and Rick Scott was right. So let me just read this again. Here's what this sentence really says again. Gillum event a non-citizens vote from being excluded Friday night according to a transcript of a Palm Beach County canvassing board proceeding obtained by the Daily Caller News Foundation. Right, they're out there trying to make sure that non-citizen votes count. Times have we been laughed at for suggesting this is why the Democrats want gazillions of illegal immigrants, so they can vote. Just get them to vote, provisional ballots, whatever. Once we get the ballots, whether they're cast by illegal or ineligible people, we'll deal with that if we need to in a recount, which is exactly what's happening now. They are in the first, well, we don't have photo ID. We don't have a way to prevent. Although nothing to do with this. I mean, we are, count every vote, count every vote, count every vote going on, want to. In the 2016 presidential race, it was the Russians about the KGB Russians, the GRU Russians, or the GPR, whatever it is, whatever, uh, it's still the same. No one ever. There are lawyers attempting to make the case. Michael Barnett, the chairman of Palm Beach Republican Party, told the Daily Caller News Foundation that Palm Beach County's canvassing board was going through provisional ballots and quickly deciding whether to allow or disallow each one. Count every vote. Every is of the, uh, or this exchange is of the first non-citizens vote they encountered. We had a, there wasn't any suspicion that every vote hadn't been, so what the hell is this? It's exactly what I'm telling you. It's an attempt to create 